the one design decision where there seems to be some variation in how people respond to it is whether the dialogue aims for consensus. So in a number of countries, people are very comfortable with the notion that that doesn't happen. In others, the view is if you convene these important people and talk through the issues, it's a waste of time if you haven't come to a consensus at the end. For our dialogues, we do not aim for a consensus. And that is made explicit at the beginning uh, of the discussions. So the discussants know that there is no pressure, you know, to have to move towards a particular direction. And um, I think that way it is easier for them to express what they really think or feel about an issue. Parce que la plupart des dialogues politiques doivent se terminer par un consensus. Et en ce moment, si c'est bon, ils disent nous nous choisissons telle ou telle telle option. We actually um, made it clear in the policy dialogue that there was no need for us to, to arrive at consensus, uh, but <clears throat> that everybody is expected to contribute what, what it is that they want to contribute. So we didn't at all aim at uh, arriving at consensus. The intention of the policy dialogue is to uh, have consensus. First of all, to put the problem over the table for the stakeholders and to see it, with, it is, in its clear picture, you see, with different uh, factors around it. So for us, in the, it's the first time to analyze it in a comprehensive manner. This is one. And the second one is to get consensus around the options and to see what is the best one to be chosen or the feasibility of the implementation. The countries that are, seem very comfortable with consensus, there's a clear explanation at the beginning of the dialogue where people say, look, it's very hard for a senior public servant or a politician to commit an organization without going back to that organization. It's almost impossible for the head of an NGO to commit the NGO. So yes, we can move people towards agreement and a sense of some concrete next steps, but it might be hard to come to a consensus that collectively commits our respective organizations. If that's communicated, most people seem comfortable with the idea, but it could still be that even if that assertion is put forward in some countries that they say no. In our political system, the way we do things is if we've got these people together, we should aim for consensus. And that's perfectly reasonable. Different political systems, different health systems are likely to lead people to want to organize dialogues in different ways.